welcome back to Bulgaria and welcome back to Bedin Vidin in our Football Manager 24 Builder Nation save. At the end of last season we completed phase four and qualified for Europe and we now move into phase five which is to try and win the title. Right hello guys welcome back not too long since you were last with us of course with us being in the uh, the championship group there's only five games in it so obviously we're going to have a look at the first four games in the highlights and see how we've got on nothing's really happened in between that time obviously there's no transfer window open or anything like that so we're going to do the highlights then we're going to do the final game of the season and find out if we can take the title from Ludogrets. and first up we had csk 1948 uh, this was in between the cup games the semi-final two-legged games against csk 1948 unfortunately we couldn't beat them in the cup but we did manage to scrape a 1-0 win in the league, Adam Yeager getting the only goal of the game in the 82nd minute. So we left it really, really late, but Diogo Silva started it, feeding Buabe to Hamash on the left-hand side. It does well to get the ball across, and Adam Yeager with his head. Next up, we went away to CSK Sofia, and unfortunately, we couldn't take all three points. CSK took the lead in the fourth minute. Ilyas Hamash got the equaliser for us in the 23rd minute. We did play better than Sofia. Uh, but ultimately, the, it's the result that counts. And unfortunately for us, it was a poor one. So we had to come to, from behind in this one to scrape our point. Buabe feeding the ball into Paolo Bernardo. Great ball to Hamash, and it's a good finish from him. A huge result followed against Levski Sofia. And it was Adebiega with the only goal of the game in the 41st minute. Our only shot on target. In terms of goal mouth action, it wasn't really too much of a thrilling game. Levski were the better team. We did control the ball a bit better than them, but they had more efforts than we did. But we were the ones who put the ball in the back of the net, and it's a massive, massive result. So, Buabe with the free kick hits the outside of the post, rebounds to Adebiega. And finally, we went away to Ardekar Jali, and we picked up a 4-2 win in this one. We were behind at half-time. Uh, in fact, we went 2-0 down very early on. Dimitar Mitkov and Milen Stoyev with the goals for Ardekar Jali. A little bit poor, Boabe did get one back just before half-time. Marcos just after half-time. Paolo Bernardo from the penalty spot in the 73rd minute. And then Adebiega again in the 84th minute. So a battling performance this time round from Bidin after being 2-0 down after 15 minutes. Boabe got us underway before half-time. Great finish. Just after half-time, Boabe again involved feeding the ball towards Marcos. Marcos picks the ball up, drives towards the goal. And it's a tidy finish from Abraham Marcus. Paolo Bernardo added the third from the penalty spot in the 73rd minute. And then Adebiega sealed the deal in the 83rd minute. Night of Boko feeds it to Kuzmanov. First time ball to Adebiega and a great finish from the Nigerian. So we just have a quick look over what Ludogretz have done in the championship group as well. They've not been particularly great, uh, to be fair. They lost their first game to Levski Sofia, uh, which gave us the lead in, in the table. Uh, they then drew with CSK in 1948, so they've taken one point from a possible six there. They have won the cup final again, though, uh, beating CSK in 1948 in the final on penalties. They did beat either Karjali 2-0, but then they dropped points again to CSK Sofia. So how things stand coming into that final game of the season is we currently sit at the top of the table on 82 points from 34 games. Ludogrets are three points behind us and one goal better off. So it's down to the final day. And if we have a look at the league rules and the sorting, it's results between teams. Uh, and I honestly can't remember how we've, uh, how we've fared uh, against Ludogrets in the, uh, it, it, throughout the course of the season. It's results between teams in the previous stage, so the preliminary phase. We could, I suppose, have a quick look, couldn't we, uh, while we're in here. Uh, we beat Ludogrets in September. And we drew with Ludogrets in March. So that means that we're technically, technically we are, uh, we're in pole position. And it's goal difference in previous stage after that, but it would come down to results against. So even if Ludogrets beat us, surely we're the champions, are we? Because our final game is against Ludogrets. Uh, this could all be null and void. We could get a point against Ludogrets and, and we would be the champions of Bulgaria. Um, so let's go and get into the game, guys. Right, guys, here we are then. Final game of the season. We need a point. And if I've read the league rules right, 
even if we lose, we've got the better record against Ludogrets in the preliminary phase of the league. So we should be champions anyway. If I've read the rules right, I, I could be wrong. Uh, but the way I interpret it is that we're the champions regardless of what happens in this game. And this is the lineup that we're going to go with. It's going to be Gunnarsson and goal. Had a great season. Weverton at right back has been okay. Record signing, of course. Maybe look to move him on, particularly as we'll be changing formation again next season. There will be a tactic video on this formation at the end of this season. Uh, we're going to look to do another one uh, for next season, though. A different tactic. We have Thibaut and Anastasopoulos as the two centre-halves, with Zabala as the left full-back. Naitoboko as the defensive midfielder. We bring Bettini into the middle of the park today in place of Paolo Bernardo. There's a little bit of match fitness going on, but we're going to give Bettini a run out. A little bit more defensive than Paolo Bernardo is, so hopefully that could help us out. Buabe had a great season for us, has Buabe. Uh, he's got 14 assists and 11 goals so far. Syracos, our young Greek charge, who again is lacking match fitness, still recovering from his most recent injury, but 19 goals and 9 assists. Marcus on the left-hand side, again, has done really, really well. And then it's our star man, Adam Yeager, on 33 goals for the season. So let's go and win the title, guys. So as we get the game underway, possibly the biggest game in Bedin's history. Of course, we've been in European competition. They're probably just as big, but this could be our first ever top flight title in Bulgaria for Bedin. Unfortunately, it's Ludogrets with the first highlight and they've got the ball on the right-hand side. It's Padilla with the ball into the box towards Good Johnson. Finds Ruiz. Ruiz has put the ball in the back of the net. Daniel Ruiz with his fourth goal of the season and with 12 minutes on the clock, guys, we are behind Let's see what that actually does for the league table. If I'm right about the league rules, I, I'm still not sure if I am. Uh, and I don't think I am. I think we need the point. Because goal difference, they're going ahead of us. Which possibly means it's not sorting it right, if, I, if I've read the league rules right. Because I, I think of it, it says it's results against between teams. It's not sorting it right. That will be disappointing if that's the case. Uh, as we approach half-time, we're going to give the boys a little bit of shout of encouragement. We're actually the favourites for this game, believe it or not, against Ludigrets. Uh, and we've not really had too much to go on this half. Ludigrets are playing much, much better. We need a huge second half. We just need a point, remember. Uh, Bettini, is, I think, is going to come off because he's not playing particularly great. It was a, it was a gamble uh, to stick Bettini in there instead of Paolo Bernardo. It uh, doesn't look like it's paying off, so we'll get Paolo Bernardo in uh, for Bettini. Uh, and hopefully grow and go and grab grab, <laughs> grab a goal. We just need a point. And this could be it. Weverton with a throw in on the right-hand side. Looking for Buabe. Headed clear, but Weverton gets it back. Finds Paolo Bernardo. Comes back to Naitoboko. Back to Thibaut. Thibaut, Paolo Bernardo, the Portuguese. Naitoboko into Weverton. Back to Thibaut. Keeping the ball well here. Zabala. He's got Marcus ahead of him. Marcus. Comes back to Anastasopoulos. Zabala again. Over the top towards Marcos. He's in behind. Gets it across. He's hit the post. He's hit the post. And Ludogretz managed to clear the ball. Half an hour remaining, guys. Adebi Jaeger's having a very poor game. But we get our second highlight. It's Marcus with the corner towards Naitoboko. Headed clear by Good Johnson. But Marcus gets it back. Gives it to Boabe. Marcus again. Naitoboko with the effort. It's woeful. Woeful from Naitoboko. Uh, we need to be better than that. 20 minutes remaining, guys. We're going to make a change. Adbiega and Syracos are going to swap round. Adbiega can play as an attacker midfielder on the right, but he's not having any influence on the game up top. Hopefully, Syracos can have a little bit more influence. He has got 19 goals this season, remember. Uh, has Klimis. As Weverton looks to whip this corner in. No, it's just playing games with me. 15 minutes remaining. Um, I, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I still don't think the league rules are sorting properly. Uh, and if this is the way that we lose the title, then it's it's very, very disappointing. Let's go very attacking. Let's demand more. Um, let's... Let's... Opposition instructions. No. Oh, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Final couple of minutes... And we have been given a, f a corner. It says Bedina piling the pressure on. We're into the first minute of four minutes added on. Weverton to take this corner. Can he pick out a teammate at that near post? 
Uh, he can't. Good Johnson gets up and heads it clear again. And Ronald looks to bring it away. He skipped past his man. Comes back to Piotrowski. Switches the play over towards Gaetano. Buabe's done well to get back though. But nothing comes of it. And we've been beaten. Because I don't think the league rules are sorting properly. Um, that's that's very, very disappointing. We're not going to watch Ludovic lift the trophy. We've, we've bottled it on the final day of the season. All we needed was a point. Unfortunately, we came so close, guys. So close. I still don't think... I want to have another look at the league rules. Because I... I results between teams in previous stage where we were better than Ludogorets in the previous stage. I don't think that's sorting correctly. I don't think that's sorting correctly at all. But hey-ho, guys. It is what it is, unfortunately. We do finish in second place, unfortunately. Uh, and that's uh, it's disappointing. Level on points with Ludogorets. Three goals is the difference in the end. If we're going to say it's by goal difference, three goals in the end. But we do qualify for the Champions League next season which is obviously huge. It's disappointing uh, to, to not win the title. Um, Adviega, highest scorer in the league with 26. Boabe with 13 assists. Syracuse with the highest average rating. Uh, I'm gutted. I really, really am gutted by that. Bucharesti in the playoff final. Draws with Athletic Club and Galatasaray. Then defeat to Bayern Munich. Barcelona, draw with Villarreal. Defeat to Ajax and Arsenal. They picked up one win against Atletico. Madrid, which meant that they finished down in 30th place with just the six points. So not great from a Ludogorets point of view. Levski Sofia were next, who we saw were in the same Europa League as us. They did get through the uh, qualifying, beating Sparta Prague and Jur Gardens uh, before getting into the actual league phase. Wins, uh, sorry, draws against Dun Dunyaska and Braga before beating Trabzonspor 5-1. Dinamo Batumi 4-1, Bodo Glimt 1-0. 3-0 losses to Tottenham and then 4-0 to Genk before beating Hammerby uh, and getting it into the knockout playoff round where they were beaten by Sporting Lisbon. Not too bad from a Levski point of view. And finally, we have CSK 1948 Sofia, uh, who were into the Europa League qualifying where they beat AEK. Uh, unfortunately, sorry, they beat Rosenberg as well. Europa League playoff, though, they were beaten by Boa Vista, which dropped them into the Conference League phase. Beaten 2 0 by Ferenz, 0 0 draws with Partizan. Good win against Pauk and AZ before beating Basel and Derry City as well. Got them into the round of 16, where they beat Atalanta before they were beaten quite comfortably by Sparta Prague in the quarter final. So, quite good there from a CSK 1948 point of view. Of course, we've already seen how we did in the last episode. Uh, so let's just have a look at and see what's happened to the coefficients. And in terms of Bulgaria, between the four of us this season, we have earned 11 coefficient points, which is better than last season. And of course, we are dropping this 4.5 off here. Uh, so that's that's obviously huge news there, guys, that we are dropping uh, a, a, quite a low one and putting a high one in, which is going to take us up to 48.25, which means we are going to move ahead of the two nations in front of us. Unfortunately, Scotland are going to go just ahead of us as well but we are as things stand moving up one position uh, to 11th which is fantastic in terms of qualification places though guys that leaves us in exactly the same place that we're in uh, there's no change there at all in terms of the Bulgarian clubs themselves let's have a look at how they have actually done uh, individually Ludogorets are the 46th sixth best team in Europe they've earned themselves nine points this season to leave them at 56 points by the looks of it going into next season. Uh, Levski Sofia uh, have earned 13. They had a better run than uh, than Ludogorets did there, up to 61st. Uh, the other teams that we had in Europe, of course, CSK 1948, uh, have also had a very, very good season. Obviously, reaching that quarter final has done them a world of good, and they're moving up a massive amount. Uh, obviously, they're currently in 119th. This is before the season's ended, guys, so these haven't changed yet. So these positions take them with a pinch of salt they could move up we're currently down in 284th position we've earned ourselves six points this season uh, so we're going to go up ever so slightly but we should improve our ranking as a club ourselves some good news guys is the board have given us a little bit more wage budget in fact it's gone up by uh, by 20 
four twenty five thousand pound a week which is obviously pretty big seven hundred eighty thousand pound in transfer budget which i can move into the wage budget depending on what's out there obviously i've got a busy busy summer ahead of us if we are going to beat ludigrets we shouldn't have to wait till the final day of the season for some dodgy league rules that haven't sorted correctly to uh, to deny us the title we should be getting there ourselves um so yeah we've got some wage budget to play with and finally guys to wrap up season six we have the end of season review it's been a very very good season for Bedin. it's it's bitterly disappointing to lose out on the title the way that we have uh, but the signing of the season this season of course is Emmanuel Adebayega uh, free transfer 38 appearances 33 goals five assists a wonder kid we kind of struggle to keep hold of him we really really are uh, but we have Sam Boabe again 11 goals 14 assists Bernardo with 12 goals and 10 assists has had a great season as well uh, and there is obviously the league table that is the uh, the preliminary phase uh, so we're two points behind there of course we know that we lost out on goal difference uh, which was obviously wrong with the league rules but I'm not going to keep going on about it we do have five teams in Europe next season that is Ludogrets, Abidin, Levski, Sofia, CSK, Sofia and then in the conference league we've got CSK 1948 the top goal scorer in the league was Adebi Jaeger uh, 2000 attendance still only 13% but it is an improvement Europa League, we be competitive again. We weren't great. Adebayega with seven goals and that. In the Cup, it was disappointing. Very, very disappointing uh, to lose to CSK 1948. Uh, and in the Super Cup, of course, we lost to Ludogorets in that one as well. Moments to remember. The biggest win was against Besiktas, qualifying for that Europa League. Match to remember was a 3-1 win over CSK 1948. Now, again, I can't remember. This was way back in July. I can't remember that game at all, guys. Uh, but Boabe has picked up goal of the season. In terms of financially, it's up massively compared to last season. Sponsorship has gone up. Broadcast revenue has gone up as well. Corporate and hospitality has tripled near enough. Competition prize money is huge, huge with the European football. Match day commercial has doubled. Team of the season pretty self-explanatory it's pretty much this the lineup that we played for throughout the season really uh, the, the only one i would possibly swap is diogo silva out and tebow in but tebow was only here uh, for a couple of months and then finally we have the accolades fans player of the season was klimis Syracos with an average rating of 7.2 young player of the season as well Syracos. signing of the season adabiega with a 7.4 average rating goal of the season we've already seen it was boabe against adka jali in february top goal scorer Adebiega, most assists, Buabe, most player of the matches awards, Adebiega with 10. Highest average rating is Adebiega, and most passes completed per 90 minutes is Diogo Silva. Record breakers, Adebiega is now the highest scorer in the season, both in all competitions and in the league. He's also got the most goals in a match by a player at four, uh, and that was in a league match. Most assists is now a record for Simon Buabe. 10 player of the matches for Adebiega. Weverton, we already know, was the record transfer. And the fastest goal time was Simon Boabe at 16 seconds. So that brings a close to season six, guys. It has been another very successful season as far as bid-in are concerned. Very disappointing to lose out on the title the way that we did. But we'll be back next season uh, and hopefully we're going to improve the squad. Hopefully we can keep hold of Adebiega. He's the big one uh, for us. If not find a replacement for him of course we do have a new tactic next season which you'll see next season as well so i've got some work to do in the summer it's only a short summer here my season starts again in around about a month's time with uh, with some pre-season friendlies before i find out what happens with the champions league qualifying um yeah i've got some wage budget to play with i've got 25k to play with so hopefully i can make some improvements to the squad until next time, though, guys, I will see you in Season 7, where hopefully we're going to go and win the title. But uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.